what is going on everybody welcome back to another pokemon sword and shield video i am very very excited to talk about this this video is going to go up a day late because if you follow my twitter you'll understand why i didn't upload the day that all this information came out i'm planning on scheduling a premiere thing so the video will just go live while i'm at work tomorrow morning which will be today for whoever's watching this is the first day it comes out but i'm very excited i got off work it was a scorcher i just showered I'm going to make a G Fuel real quick, and we're going to talk about this information because I am so excited about waiting so long for this. Ah. All right, guys. We are talking about the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC pack. We got more information on it today. The trailer actually came out while I was at work today, so I haven't even seen the trailer yet. But a whole bunch of new information came out, new Pokemon shown off. There's some new mystery gifts you're able to get in Pokemon Home, a whole bunch of stuff like that. Really, really exciting stuff, and I'm so ready because... I've kind of had this dry spell with Pokemon where the raid dens really just weren't all that interesting to me anymore. And then other games came out that I've been playing like Animal Crossing. So I've just been kind of waiting for something to get me back into Pokemon. And the DLCs are finally here. We got a release date for the Isle of Armor. And it's so exciting. It's super close. I am so ready to talk about this. So I'm actually going to react to the trailer live here for you guys. And then we will talk about everything that I see in the trailer after we watch it. So let's get over to that. Okay, before I even bother starting play... I love this Slowbro design. I believe it's Psychic and Poison. It is awesome. I love this Galarian Slowbro. I'm so glad I farmed for the Shiny. I'll link that in the description below if you want to see the reaction to getting the Shiny Galarian Slowbro the day it came out. Oh, I'm so ready for this Pokemon. I'm probably going to use it throughout the DLC pack. We're going to play it here. This is super cool. I love that both of... I'm going to pause it real quick. I love that both of the DLCs have the whole area, the whole new zone that you could explore is wild area. That is something so cool to me. So we see more of Urshifu here. Here we go. This, for whatever reason, this is the first one I pulled up. It's a Japanese trailer, but it's fine. It shows all the stuff regardless. Let's go more wild area i love the wild area it's such such a good idea it's such a step forward for pokemon oh i'm so ready oh bufflant i'm so ready to see what new pokemon come back like obviously talon flames making the return we already knew about that one but there's so much new content coming all these characters that we've seen already oh they're gigantamaxing layers the gigantamax forms oh they look so good they look so good. There's Ushifu, Urshifu. Or, that's Cub Food. Duh, excuse me. Look at him go. Oh, this looks so good. I'm so excited for this. This is beyond awesome that we're finally getting this. Because I was worried it got delayed because of the COVID stuff. Here's the evolution. If I'm remembering correctly, the evolution is based on which of those towers you take on. They showed those two towers there just a second ago. I'll rewind it here. Hold on. Let's see. We'll go back. There they are. They show these two towers here. Awesome stuff. Yes. And there, here's the evolution. So cool. The G-Maxes are really clean looking. And here's some Crown Tundra stuff. I'm really excited for the Crown Tundra. Because that one seems to have more of the uh, exploration aspect to it. Where uh, the Isle of Armor seems more battly. Oh, this is going to be the Reggies, isn't it? Oh, man. New Reggies. I guarantee. I want to know. I want confirmation that we get some new Reggies. Because we had the, that fan art, well not the fan art, we had the art in the uh, original announcement trailer for the expansion. Oh, these are those new raid dens, the cooperative raid dens. These look awesome, these are going to be really tough. Oh, that's the Reggie. But I'm assuming from what we got with the Mewtwo raid event that happened a little while back, that the uh, raid dens with the legendaries in the Crown Tundra DLC are going to be very similar to the um, difficulty level that was the Mewtwo raids. Oh, man. These are sick. Oh, there's the birds! I think Zapdos is my favorite of the new birds, although Moltres is pretty sick, too. 
These look so good. Oh, there's the G-Max starters. This all is just super, super exciting. Oh, wait, new Pokemon challenges? New Pokemon League challenges? That's awesome. Yes. And then it's going to show the release date. The release date, release date, excuse me, is June 17th. So that is super close. It's two weeks out. Sadly, it's two days before Last of Us Part 2, which I'm also going to be getting. So very exciting couple of days for me. But this is really awesome stuff. And of course, as always, there will be more guides for this stuff here on the channel. So I'm going to bring this back to just me, and we'll talk about this a little bit. Well, actually, I'm going to leave it right here, and we're just going to kind of look through. Again, I'm in love with this design. I can't wait to see what Slow King looks like, but all of this stuff looks so good. Obviously, we got the new Wild Area stuff here, showing off some of the returning Pokemon here. Really awesome stuff. I'm so beyond excited for this. There's the Gigantamax forms. These look so good. These look so good. As well as the Gigantamax forms for Venusaur and Blastoise. Those look phenomenal as well. Here's some more Crown Tundra stuff. And like I said, this one just seems way more uh, exploration based. Because of like, the uh, new Legendary Raid Dens, which I think will be a lot of fun and add some replayability. Well, at least after you complete the main story content of the DLCs, this is what's going to be keeping people around. Shiny hunting for Legendaries, taking on these extremely challenging raids. That is going to be a good time. And then we got a look at the new birds. And I'm telling you, they look so good. Like, they all look beyond good. Articuno looks fantastic. I really like Zapdos, though. I like that Zapdos is a flightless bird from the look of it. Moltres is very cool as well. In my opinion, I've always been a Moltres Zapdos guy. I've never been a big Articuno guy, and it's the same here. These two are definitely, in my opinion, far superior to the Articuno design. But Although I do really like this Articuno design over the original. Then we see another look at the uh, G-Max... Uh, starters and then like the, the release date being so soon that is something that is so amazing f to me because of the fact that I was not expecting us to get this I figured it would be delayed until July and I I'm so happy we're actually getting this on the well around the release date that we were supposed to get it How, oddly enough I didn't see anything about Zarud or uh, anything like that with a new mythical Pokemon. I'm interested to see. I'm going to check some other sources after this video is over. To see if there's any more information regarding Zarud. Because that was supposed. I was imagining that was going to be coming out. Around the same time of the DLC packs. But I could have been mistaken. Maybe it'll be like a GameStop mystery gift event. Or something like that. After these release. But that's. Regardless, all of this information is super exciting, and I cannot wait. That is it, guys. That is just my reaction and me talking about my thoughts regarding the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC trailer we got today, yesterday, for everybody watching this. But it is so, so exciting. Like I said, I didn't think we were going to get this this soon. I figured it was going to get delayed till July because of COVID. So seeing that it's coming is just so awesome. I'm going to be hopping back in, getting my team ready to head into these new regions. Oh man, I cannot wait, let me tell you. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you guys think of this new trailer that we got? I'm interested in hearing all of it. So, like I said, leave a comment. I want to know. What are your thoughts on the birds? Which one's your favorite? Are you excited for the new Reggies? Just everything. Let me know. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video to be entertaining and helpful, be sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Be sure to share the video with your friends. Let's grow this community here on the channel. Speaking of community, we have a community discord. People over there playing Animal Crossing. Pokemon's going to be picking up again because of the expansion pass coming out. People are already talking about it. So check that out if that's something that interests you. I do stream over on Twitch. Pokemon, Animal Crossing, Minecraft Dungeons, stuff like that. Check that out if that's something that interests you. I have a second channel. If me and my buddies are playing games, we get some funny moments. All that stuff, non-Nintendo stuff, goes up on the second channel. All my other social media should be on screen here at this point. So if you're interested in keeping up with me, this channel, the second channel, the stream, anything like that, be sure to check me out there as well. But like I said, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.